if you're one of the six people that are playing at home, you may be getting close to a full bingo card. It's just one conversational beat too long. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. It's fine. It's one beat. Yeah. Uh, these boys about to throw down. I'm calling. Sam Marler, you don't let his record fool you in kickboxing. Two and four in kickboxing, but he's a monster in MMA, and he's just fought oh, a lot. Good sharp straight left, and he'll put it on big him. right kick as well. He can hit hard. Fainting that left hand, fainting, 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 and then a low kick, and then a low kick answered back. Marler doing a good job milling that lead hand out, mixing it up, and ooh, nice slip. He's got Estrada respecting that left hand. Estrada said, I got hit in the cup, and Joseph said, no low blow. <laughs> nice Marler, big ooh. shot from Estrada. Left Estrada's hook. Got, Estrada's finding the timing now. Yeah, a nice little parry. He's, he's, he's mitigated that lead hand. Marler was having a tremendous success with his lead hand early on. Popped him with that cross, and now Estrada but, uh, hits that nice jab on the way in there. Both guys having some success in the exchanges. Yeah. Oh, nice check from Marler. Yeah, he slowed him with that. Oh, good head movement. This is an excellent fight thus far. These guys are very well matched. This Watch. is a story. Watch that lead hand check hook from Marler. That's one of his best punches. Estrada being very smart, mixing up the ways that he's choosing to make entry and make exit against the taller fighter and uh, Sam Marler. Uh, and squatting to not only reduce. Whoa. Sam dialed that kick up there. Got it. Oh, almost ducks into a knee. Estrada is doing a good job mitigating the low kicks of Marler by squatting, which reduces his strike zone and presents the knee as a very dangerous, uh, you know, like a sort of a spear in the sand yeah. against a charging yeah, yeah. horse. Leverage. And, uh, and it, it's making the low kicks for Marler not as effective as they were in the first, in the opening seconds of this fight, while Estrada is able to land his own low kicks. Yeah, not something you see in every fight either. Mar Marler a little, uh, sec maybe second guessing his earlier strategies. He had tremendous success in the first quarter of the round, struggled through the middle, and now he's sort of on the brakes. He's standing on the brakes, riding well, the brakes. He oh, hard right hand from Estrada. Sends Marler back, but Marler comes back forward. The early aggression was responded to very well by Estrada, but Sam Marler's not a natural counter striker. He has some good counter striking ability, but that's not his game plan, but he kind of fell into sitting back and waiting a lot in that round, which I think allowed Estrada to get back in there and start landing some big shots. Yeah, uh, really good aggression from both men. It looked like Estrada was better able to make adjustments and vary up what he was doing. Marler had a ton of success early on, but when what he was doing stopped working, he didn't make any adjustments. He just stood there, kind of deer in headlights. Estrada, I think, can keep doing more of the same. Marler is going to have to make some adjustments. He's going to have to do something different. He's got he's to come up with a new strategy or a new tool because just being aggressive against Estrada, who's now varying his defense and mixing up his offense, is not going to work. Maybe we'll see a little more urgency from Marler. That's not his game. That's not his, that's not his thing. I don't, I don't know if he has that in him, frankly, but I think that when he's pushed by his opponent, well, he will, he or he will rise. Or he, or he will have to counter-strike. Yeah. So if he, if he yeah. can't, he has, to, he has to either pick up the output or counter-strike. He just is always seems to be willing to just enter the exchange and see what happens. He doesn't really seem to be concerned with going first or second, which is like not a great thing, but it's, it shows a level of comfortability. When it situation. works, when it was working, it's great. You're, it's like fighting a, like a Frankenstein's monster. Ooh, yeah, he's left hook to the body. He's varied when he goes first, when he goes second. Yeah, Estrada, Estrada's shown several different strategies and tactics and techniques. Ooh, good Ooh. spinning hook kick from Man, Marler. And that was pretty, too. Yeah, it was well executed, well well timed. It was a little slow, but it still landed on target. And it was it was top of the foot. Uh, if it would have been heel, obviously, it would have been yeah. very different. And uh, Estrada had a bit of his glove in the way. Good, good step in knee from Marler, yeah. and then a frame. Marler varying what he's doing a little bit. He's uh, got to be a little careful with step in knee. He's been finished. He's been finished walking in with the step in knee by Khalil Pettifer before. Oh, hard overhand right from Estrada. And Estrada's that was a beautiful punch from Estrada, followed up by an even prettier. Estrada has a ton of success with that overhand right because he uses it sparingly. He doesn't. He, he doesn't blow his load with that overhand right, and he's good with the low kicks. Marler doing a good job cutting off the ring, but didn't attack. Estrada very head movement range. Hands, pairing, long guard. Estrada has a very, very dynamic layered defense. He uses 
his footwork, head movement, hands, and posture to mm. defend. Mm. Beautiful combo. Like a Jose Aldo type of, yeah, you know. Yeah, definitely. And he's doing a great job of finding that taller, Ooh, that bigger. Well, left and a right. Taller and a body, and, the, and, and Marler bleeding profusely from, from his the, nose. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hard right. Golly, I, wanna, I need to see the rest of this fight, but unfortunately. You got to run, don't you, buddy? I got I got to do stuff. Coach has got to go to work. I see Mike bailing out of the booth here for his fight against one of my boys, DK. That's a dude. I think I'll bring uh, Mr. Tyler Cook onto the mic for these next two fights. Sitting right here beside me. So, in this third round, it's going to be very interesting to see if Sam Marler continues to kind of wither or if he's able to kind of find the punches again because he was landing so much more efficiently in the first round. In the second round, he had a good spinning heel kick or spinning wheel kick that turned into a spinning heel kick that turned into a spinning wheel kick, rather. He landed with the top of the foot instead of the heel, so not as much damage as you want to see from a move with such an amount of investment and pull and build up. Estrada comes out and just finds that head again, throwing big power shots. And Sam is trying to find just a jab now. He's settling for just a jab. Sam's a more powerful striker, but Raymundo just has more volume. He's able to hit more. And he's able to land like more true when Sam is stepping in and catching Sam leaning in awkward areas. He's just an overall better boxer. I think Sam's going to need to in influence him with the feet, with the kicks, because he's landed some great kicks in this fight, but he keeps getting into a boxing match with Estrada. Good kick there, good high kick, as if he could hear me. Good head movement from Marler. Marler's, Marler's really evolved as a striker. Win or lose this fight, he's definitely improved so much since the fight against BJC. So many fights he's had at Fight For It. I've never seen him go out there twice and be the same guy. He's always a little bit better. And now we see Estrada trying to trying to get back into this because he can see that the momentum's going to Sam Marler and this crowd is kind of cheering on Sam. They're calling him forward in the corner at TKO. Estrada bounces off the shoulder blade there with that punch. He's not landed a good one in a while. Tries to go over the top there and misses on that taller opponent. Can't get that leg kick up, can't get that leg up high enough to kick Sam in the head. Sam is hunting him down with the straights now. Big shot there from Estrada. That is the best punch he's landed in all the round. Long, 10 seconds left in this one. We're coming down the home stretch with Marler pressing the action and deflecting some blows with a nice parry. He's gonna take one or two more to give one more. Close fight. Close fight, have no idea who won that one personally. Hard to judge, there's been some hard to judge, very, very close fights here tonight. I have no idea which way this is gonna go. I feel like I have the least idea about this one compared to the other ones. I was wrong on both of the other fights, so obviously I'm not really like locked into what the judges think is best, but, um, or what these judges are valuing anyway, but it's weird. I, I, I don't know, I don't know how this one shakes out. I think that Sam Marler landed a lot of damage, but that nose, a lot of the optics of the fight look like Raimundo was just making his head bounce around with those with those bigger shots. And I was really impressed by Raimundo's ability to just get to the head of the taller opponent. Sometimes when you're the shorter, smaller guy, it's tough to get there to find that guy um, when he's really, really tall. I think Sam could have kicked a lot more. Sam could have kicked a lot more, I think, and that would have that would have helped him for sure.
the red the red locker room's over there, Mike. It's directly across from the cage. No, no, it's uh, it's right here. CT is a hell of a drug. All right, decision is in. With your winner, fighting out of the blue corner with a unanimous decision, Raimundo Estrada. Close fight, but I kind of agree with that one. I think Sam did win the last round, but I think that was the only round he won. He had a great showing in the first round, but as the round went on, Raimundo got more and more comfortable. Third round, Marler. Marler really seemed to be ticking ahead, but not enough on the judges' scorecards to get him that win there. And we got Raymundo. Estrada, welcome back, Mr. Icy Mike. Don't. Just don't. Just, I can't. I was just saying welcome back, Mike. Oh, friend. thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, that was me. That was my bad. That's embarrassing. It's unprofessional. It's all good. I jumped up from the booth thinking that we were next, and I had my fighter, I had to go corner, and, and we're not next. To be fair, Aiden is a lot like Adrian. It's close. You know, I, I, I'm a dyslexic man myself. I could be caught in the same position as you. Very easily. You good? Am I in your way? Oh, you're good? No, you're good. All right. Oh, what, a, what a wonderful fight. I'm sure the third round was as good as the first, dude. I missed it. Uh, yeah. I thought Sam did a great job of, of deciding it was his turn in, in, yeah. the, in the last Took round. some initiative. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. That's what he needed to do. Too little too late, though, unfortunately, in this one. I would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> I'm going to watch it on the replay. I always go back and watch Fight for Fights. I love, I love going back and watching it.